Hello, this is Katie with TheLettucePeople.com. So many of my subscribers may have watched my last video uh, where I showed my vertical V system and that I had lost 270 heads of lettuce to the heat in the growth chamber. It caused my lettuce to go to seed and turn bitter. So I changed up a few things to really try to alleviate that problem so that I could continue to use this system throughout the summer growing season. Um, one of the first things that I did was I filled up several of these pitchers of water and froze them so that I could put two or three at a time into the reservoir to keep the water cool. As long as the water is cool, about 65 degrees, it will allow the plants to transpire off the heat and they won't set the seed stock and get bitter. Um, so another thing that I did is I decided to give LEDs a try in this system and see if I could reap the benefits of LEDs in a system like this. So I set up these 100 watt LED fixtures. They're made by a company called Little Tomato Concepts. I believe it's littletomatoconcepts.com. It's L-I-L, not little, so Lil Tomato Concepts. And these are 100 watt fixtures. I'm running two of them on the right side of the chamber. And then I have two HID lights on the left side of the chamber, the metal halides. These are the boxes. The black diamond, edge light, little tomato concepts. And the metal halide, 400 watt plus right that I just got from my local hydroponics store. Couple quick things to note. The HID chamber runs between three and five degrees warmer than the LED chamber. So there's a significant a more amount of heat going on in the other side. That it goes down about a degree when I have the fans running. They've only been off for a couple minutes and it's already gone up a degree on the HID side. The LED side hasn't moved yet. But these plants, two weeks old, been in the system for four days. Um, one of the things that I wanted to mention too, when I was planting this system, I wasn't able to, to have the lights on in the HID side of the chamber because the intensity of the lights is just so much that it hurts my eyes and I feel like it's burning my skin. I didn't have that problem with the LED side. I was able to have the lights on in there so I could see what I'm doing because I don't have any window or anything like that. I'm in my basement so it was nice to be able to see what I was doing when I was planting. So obviously energy savings. The two 400 watts use you know, four times the amount of energy that the two 100 watts are using and I can actually show you that visually. I have wattage meters running on both the HID and the LED. So, so far in four days, the HID has used $4.65 and the LED has used exactly $1. So, you know, HID are four times the wattage, four times the amount of energy, um, lots of heat coming off of those. So, I'm going to make a video in the next couple weeks and give you an update on how things are grow growing, show you the progress and let you know if I have any more interesting notes that I found along the way to pass on. Thanks for watching. Uh, click subscribe so you can get notified when I post those updates. And I'll be back soon. Thanks.